get two ball predictions from each game because we only have two games. We need four ball predictions in total. Pete, we will start with Chiefs and Ravens. Give us a bold prediction from the AFC Championship game on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Let's see, bold prediction. Um, Pacheco rushes for over 100 yards. That's pretty bold because the Ravens do not give up a ton of rushing yards. Although you can beat them on the ground more than you can beat them through the air. Yeah, but you have to beat them on the ground to open up the air. Mm. And that's why I think Andy Reid's going to be smart like he was last week. And it's not going to be a free throwing it all over the place, but he's going to take his shots like he did last week off the run game. I like the idea of like Isaiah Pacheco and Roquan Smith meeting each other like right at the hole. It's That's like, violent. That's violent. violent. Yeah, fun violent. I love Roquan Smith, man. What a player. Yeah, the, um, the, the Texans last week couldn't run at all, so that kind of negated what they did in the passing game. I think yeah. the Chiefs will will run the ball better. Okay. Uh, Lions and 49ers. Lions at 49ers. That game – wait, which one is the uh... – the early game is the is the uh, CBS CBS game. game. Yeah, Lions at 49ers, six thirty p.m. on Sunday. The two quarterbacks combined for seven hundred passing yards and five touchdowns. Wow! Oh my God, the That's shootout! A ton. Oh, we've got to grade the first one. Breach, we got to grade the grade Pete's predictions. I'm going to give the first one a B, but I'm going to give the second one an A. Yeah, I'll go B minus A minus. Yeah, I, I think the second game is going to get loose. I, I really do. I think I think the way Ben Johnson calls a game, he's not going to be conservative. He's going to go down swinging, and the best way to go down swinging against that team, as we saw last week with the with the Packers, is to take those shots, the intermediate shots, all of them, and, and he's going to be smart and get the ball to his playmakers on the outside. I I think that one gets crazy, and I don't think that I don't think the Lions can stop the 49ers either. So I think that's going to go up and down the field. Yeah, total of 51 in that game, which is pretty robust. Uh, Niners currently favored by seven points, although that went down to six and a half, back up to seven. Uh, some juice on the and, Lions. And let's not forget that the Lions gave up the sixth most passing yards in the NFL this year. So I think it kind of feels, but they were very good at stopping the run. So it is, does Kyle Shanahan trust Brock, Brock Purdy enough to just hand him the game and say, all right, you're going to do this? Because remember, Jimmy Garoppolo in big games, there was a couple where, he just ran the ball the whole entire game and, and wouldn't put it on Jimmy's shoulders. And it didn't really feel like he put it on Purdy's shoulders until he had to when they were trailing against the Packers. And so what happens this week when there's no room to run and you really need to throw the ball? Yeah, and Purdy didn't play great in that mm. game um, and, until he had to, like you said. He made some throws. You know, we had a debate up here in the newsroom. They were raving about that throw he made to Juwan, to uh, Juwan Jennings in the middle of the field. Yep. I mean, Jennings made a great catch on that ball, the high one. You know, yeah. uh, it was a it's a good throw over the top. He kind of layered it in there, but the the receiver made a hell of a play on that. Yeah, too. Purdy Purdy's had a fine game. And, and the one I mean, thing I'll he, say he, to closed, that, he closed it out. Don't get me wrong. I mean, like overall, you're not going to give him like crazy, you know, crazy. Grade no, but he runs the offense. He, you know, he, he's a he great point guard. Offense. He's a great yeah. point guard. But real quick on the Juwan Jennings throw, there was a throw earlier this year where Gardner Minshew got one of his receivers nailed. Uh, I think it was Michael Pitt Pittman, and Brady came out and said, well, you know, these quarterbacks just, you got to put the ball in a place where your receiver's not going to get nailed. And so, yeah, I mean, it was an okay. It was a great throw, I guess. But as Pete said, it's a great catch because Juwan Jennings, he is hanging his receiver out there to dry is basically what's happening. Jennings knows he's going to get decked. And he still caught it. So I think that was more of a Jennings catch than a Purdy throw. Like yeah, like the, yeah, like the Josh Allen throw to Stefan Diggs was a great throw that wasn't a catch. Right. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, that was an unreal throw, and he didn't catch it. I mean, it, it, the, by comparison, the other one was a good Unbelievable. Throw. It was all on, on the money 80 yards down the field. I mean, it's ridiculous. You know, somebody – who was it? I think it was Darius Slayton. Did you see his tweet? Darius Slayton said something mm. about – he had to slow down a little bit so it was underthrown. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, whatever you say, Darius. <laughs> Technically, he did, but you ripped it 80 yards in the, in the weather. <laughs> Think about that. Yeah, exactly.